what's going on, what's happening, what's happening, 392 Blur Lines coming back at you real quick, like, just going to do a little quick unboxing here, um, I, uh, I ordered my carburetor yesterday, and, um, I had these packages came in the mail the other day, and I hadn't opened any of them up, but yesterday, because of ordering a carburetor, I had a question for the tech, uh, pertaining to a spacer that I ordered, they call them a super sucker, and it's a one inch spacer that goes under the carburetor, between our carburetor and the intake, and so I wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be any uh, interference with the, the, the butterflies, the flaps on the bottom of the carburetor with the holes that are on that super sucker, so I end up having to open that package up to get the measurement of the diameter of those ports. Um, he said as long as I had a one and three quarter inch diameter, I'd be okay. But it's a good idea to have that spacer on the bottom of that carburetor. Um, and I did find out exactly what size carburetor that I'm going to be using. And um, when that comes, I will do an unboxing of that and let you show it. I'll show you what's going on with that. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what size the carburetor is yet. We were thinking 950, but it's not a 950, so we're going to show you guys when the package does arrive. They said it was going to take about 10 days to make it according to the specs of my engine. So he said after shipping it out that day, I should have it the following day. So we'll We'll see how that goes. But as far as what we got in these boxes, as I specified, I had to open up this particular box. So I did open it up yesterday to get the specs as far as the diameter of the, the, um, the ports of this super sucker. So we have your super sucker made by high performance carburetor. Now, it's supposed to increase uh, horsepower. I don't know exactly by how much, what. It's supposed to increase it. And um, it was by high velocity heads. That's who it is made by, high velocity heads. So, I was gonna get a, a Wilson. They have a Wilson also does the same job. These are tapered. They do have a tapered um, a taper down on the inside of these spacers. Oh, more stickers, boys and girls. <laughs> so, but this is what it consists of. It is a one inch spacer. You know, you got your ports, but it also has these tapers. That is for the flow of the fuel, I do believe. Or I believe that's what it is going down into those cylinders. But it's pretty, pretty nicely machined uh, billet aluminum block. Real nice. You know, looking at it, I'm like, man, I probably could have done this at work, but I ordered one. It's going to be a lot easier for me to order it than has to make it. Because if you don't have the dimensions, you're not gonna make one nowhere. So you'd have to have all the dimensions as far as the angles and all that to machine that in a CNC. So I did order that and that's gonna sit nicely up under the carburetor. You have a, a part number SS4150-1AL. So that is the part number for that and it's for a 4150 setup and um, should work pretty good. I, rec I was recommended by my brother to get one. He had one and what convinced him to get one was um, the dyno results. That they dyno these things well, with them and without them and there's such a drastic difference in the performance that he said he had to have one. So he recommended I get one. So I ordered one, did it online. The Wilsons were like 190, 180 bucks. Um, he had gotten his, I think for I think 
he said 119, which was some time ago. I was able to get this one. I think I spent 123 with uh, tax, come up to 131. So expect to spend at least that much for one if you want to get one for your ride. So we had that come in the mail the other day. And it, I ordered it one day and it was in the mail the next day. That came from Wayne's. Actually, it doesn't specify that it came from Lane's when I ordered it, but uh, I know that it was shipped out from Water of Elite, and that is who's in Water of Elite, Lane's Automotive. So it had to come from Lane's. I just went through a middleman to get it. All right, next one. This here was something I was going to need as well. ordered this it wasn't it wasn't even supposed to be here yet it wasn't supposed to be here till Monday but it came early and, and that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm ordering the wrong tape cut I'm ordering everything that I need as soon as I see it I'm done waiting because I found out when you wait all you do is end up spending more money to get it later but I did order a throttle cable bracket. Some attachments in there. And this attachment is for a different type of a, a throttle setup. That's what this one's for. You have a throttle cable that will go through this hole with a set screw down the top to lock it in place. Mopar. I believe that for Mopar. But I had to have one of these for the throttle setup. And they vary in prices. They come in red, blue, this um, aluminum finish. And I wanted to go with aluminum because the red, they're anodized, the blue is anodized. And knowing anodized, you can scratch that off. So I didn't want something that was going to be, you'd scratch off and then you'd see this aluminum up under that anodized color anyway. So why not just get it aluminum? And I believe this is a, it's a clear anodized. So you have the factory or the aluminum color. So this is um, it's a pretty nice setup. Once again, I was recommended to go with one of these. You know, brother, say, man, you might want to get one of these. I'm listening. And it, it's a pretty nice little setup because you can adjust. You can adjust it. It's got your little adjustment screw on the bottom, Allen wrenches. And you can adjust the tension on your spring and your carb. Also for the cable itself that comes into it. So I don't know if I'll be using this one or the other one. It all depends on throttle cable that I end up buying. I know the link is the, the linkage that was set up on the car. It wasn't a cable. It was, um, it was brackets. So I know I'm going to have to go aftermarket with a throttle cable and I'll probably go aftermarket with the throttle pedal itself. I thought I was going to use my original but because of the way that it was set up and designed from 65 I can't really use that with a cable because the way it's made. So I'll probably end up just buying a whole new throttle pedal and the cable for this setup. But I do believe that's a nice little setup. Two bolts on the carburetor. And uh, should do the job. But we ordered that. And it, like I said, it wasn't supposed to be here till Monday. But it came a little early. Which is cool. Not like I'm going to be using it no time soon, but I want to get everything that I need while I can get it. I put a bid in for one of these online. That was asking for like 20, 25 hours, I think it was. I put a bid in for 18, 
He came back with a bid for 24. I put a bid in it for 20. He came back with another bid of 24. I didn't bid no more. And then he wanted to send me a bid even lower. I said, too late, I already bought one then. I had already bought one because I said I wasn't going to keep messing with him. So we have that to come in. And also, this package here, these were actually they were supposed to be some of these cap screws. I had to order a set for my uh, valve covers that I had gotten from my brother. Had the valve covers that he used. I don't know how many of them both he used because he had broke one or two. I don't know. This is dull Stanley knife. Uh -oh. That's why it's dull. I'm trying to cut some paper with it. Put that paper in there. And these are from Fastener Ink. Come from New York. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and those are exactly what I needed. Two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Stainless steel, so they should be sturdier than these, which were just some cheap mild steel but we got stainless steel quarter 20 threads quarter 20 by three and a quarter drive size 3 sixteenths stainless steel 18-8 all right same length just uh must be about an eighth of an inch shorter should be fine so we have those to take the place of the ones that I no longer have. Now, this diameter, this should be okay to fit down in those valve covers. I have to go out and test them and make sure. I'm not doing it right now. But if they are a little bit too big, if they're not small enough like this to fit down inside, take them to work, put them in the lathe, and I'll just, I'll just turn this down to where all I got is the Allen head that I need. Let's see how that goes. So, that's what came in the mail the past couple days. And um, I just wanted to give you a heads up what's going on. Like I said, I ordered my carburetor yesterday. It'd be here in 10 days. Um, I was looking to order my um, headers yesterday. And I didn't get that done. So, I'll probably do that in one day. And they're in stock, so it shouldn't take them no time at all to get here. They should be here the same week. And uh, we'll come back at you and show you where we're at on that situation. But, heads up, Jags got in contact with me. Got an email from Jags, and uh, it specified that uh, they knew that I probably wanted my gasket soon. They had a back order. They were supposed to ship out on the 10th, which was two days ago. That was estimated ship date. No, it wasn't gonna happen. And uh, they sent me an email said the estimated ship date would be on the fifth of next month. So if I get them around that time, we will go ahead and we will start the assembly process of the engine. Well, the completion of what we can complete after we get the head gaskets, get our heads on, get our rockers on, then we can measure uh, for the push rods. Then I'll order the push rods. And pretty much we'll have all of the big stuff out of the way. And I still have yet a few little small things like pulleys. I gotta get water pump pulley, crank pulley, but I'm not gonna order that until I get the other stuff taken care of because I'm not exactly sure of uh, dimensions on the pulleys so that my belts will line up because I got an engine plate that engine plate is going to change the factory setup of a 360 small block with the alternator, water pump, and the crank. Those pulleys are going to be in a different location. So we'll just have to wait that out and see what we come up with when we get closer to that part of the build. 
So, with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut this thing down. And we're going to come back at you a little later on with another video. First time coming to the channel. Welcome to the channel. And with all that being said and done, we're going to shut this thing down. And we'll come back at you real shortly with another video. 392 Blur Lines coming at you. Peace out.